Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing great. Welcome back to the lesson 2 in module 13, that is translations. It is another simple lesson, small lesson, easy lesson. Here there is only one objective to determine translation vector. In simple words, translation means moving from one place to another. Now we will see keywords, it's translation and magnitude. We will see this in a while. Translations. You can see over here the figure ABC is translated to JKL. How do you understand? Let's count the center. It's 1, 2, 3, 4. The height over here should be 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes. Let's count the sides. 1, 2, 3 from the middle and 1, 2, 3. It's 6 in total. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's the same thing over here as well. So what we understand is the figure says the same. There is no change in the figure. There is no change in the coordinates. Only thing is the position is changed. The displacement happens. So this is the vector, the translation vector. What does this mean? This denotes, now it is over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the x-axis and 2 in the y-axis. This is the displacement of this each point. Now, how to translate this point? It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2 upwards. You can see this also, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2 up. Lastly, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 2 upwards. So this is about translations. We will look into a problem. Now we heard this, the distance between each pair of corresponding vertices is same. Now we saw all the translation of all the vertices were the same. Phi in the x-axis and 2 in the y-axis, both in the positive direction. The segments that connect each pair of corresponding vertices are parallel. Now what this means is, now imagine this is, the seg this is a segment which uh, connects the vertices over here. And this is the one. They will be parallel. They will never touch each other because they are translated and it, there's a translation vector. It will never, they will, they'll be parallel lines basically. So you can see these are parallel lines. The slope will be the same. And the magnitude of the vector is the length from the initial point to the terminal point. Basically, the length over here, magnitude is basically length from one vertex to the other or from one point to another point. Let us look into the problems now. Determine a translation vector. First, we should determine whether translation maps this JKL given over here onto JKL dash, this one, the transformed one. If so, find the translation vector. If not, explain why. Look at this. Is there any translation? This is a reflection happening over here. It's not a translation. It's reflection along x is equal to 1. It's not translation. This, this is, uh, sorry, j, j dash k dash l, that is the reflected image, is not translation. The distances between the corresponding vertices are not the same. If the distances were all same, over here the translation were all same, then yes. If this point would have been like this, then it would be translation. Now let's see another problem. Here, determine whether the translation maps into the JKL. Now, let's look over here. Okay. What do we have over here? J, J, K, L. And let's count the distance. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And over here, it's 1, 2, 3. So, 5 and 3. Positive 5 and positive 3. That must be the translation for all the vertices. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 3. Yes, it's 3 and 5. Even over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3. Yes, it's the same. So, yes, x was 5 and y was 3. The first is the option. This is not the correct one. It's x and y. x is 5, y is 3. Yes, it is a translation and this is the correct answer. So, that is how we solve it. And now we will see a real world problem over here. We have translations on coordinates. Travis is on a scavenge hunt on, at lake. He needs to swim to the nearest buoy, pick a card, and then swim until he reaches fisherman who will give him the next clue in exchange for the card. Describe the translation from the buoy to the fisherman's boat by using a translation vector. Now over here, there's a buoy. Uh, there's a buoy. A buoy. Uh, okay, it's 
bu buoy. It's basically, uh, you know, like a floating thing in the sea that is used to guide or mark something generally. Um, it is used for different places. Uh, it, it is used for different, uh, you know, reasons. But anyways, now there is a card over here. A person needs to pick this card up and then he needs to drive to the fisherman and gi give the card and he will get something. That's like a treasure hunt or scavenge hunt. Now they are asking you to find the translation from this point to the fisherman's boat over here. It's very simple. Let's count. One. Y is downwards. One. And one, two, three, four, five. So negative one and positive five. Sorry. Which comes first? X is first. Five comma minus one is the translation vector. So that is the. Uh, where is it? So, okay, over here, you can see it's 1 and phi, and that is the translation vector. Phi and minus 1, I'm sorry. It's phi in the x direction and minus 1 over here in the y direction. Y, minus because it's going downwards, positive x because it's going to the right. So, that's it. That's the end of this translation lesson. It's a very simple lesson, very easy lesson. Just two example problems, only one objective. If you have any doubts, any difficulties, do write them in the chat and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Happy learning to all.